So, eventually, well, thank goodness you left teaching, but what were the, what, what, uh, what, you got, what got you out of teaching? A student said to me, grade seven student, one day, put up his hand and said, yes, love. He said, Mr. Borden, who are you playing now? Oh, the cheek. <laughs> Knocked me right off my feet. <laughs> oh my God. And I thought, oh, if it's that obvious, obvious <laughs> this is the wrong classroom. Mm -hmm. Change your classroom. Mm -hmm. And that's all I did. Mm -hmm. Change the classroom. Right. Who were you playing? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I, I was obviously preparing for a play of some kind. And it would have been with the, uh, with the uh, Pond Playhouse, the community theater. Uh, the Pond Playhouse really was my, begin my first training ground. Um, it is the oldest uh, continuous uh, community theater in the country, still going. But uh, at that time, it was run by Jenny Archibald, who was the uh, head of the theater uh, wing of a government, Nova Scotia government uh, group for the government. And so Jenny, she had heard around, as they, you know, they all did. And she contacted me, wanted me to join the Pond Playhouse. I said, okay. Now, mind you, now I was teaching school. I was uh, working for the uh, uh, Nova Scotia Project. I mean, this is 24-7 24, 24 business going on here because there would be nights when there would be things going on at the Nova Scotia Project that would have us working all through the night, you know, uh, Communication, communicating, they're drawn up this, drawn up that. This was before the days of all this uh, gadgetry, so someone's there typing away on an old royal typewriter and someone is running it off on a Gestetner, and many people don't even know what a Gestetner is <laughs> or was, but they'd be running it off on the Gestetner and da 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 da. What on earth is a Gestetner? I have to know. It was this thing for duplicating. Uh, papers, but you have to type it out on a specific kind of paper on the typewriter. Uh, and then you would take that, hook it into this Gestetner thing and hook it down here and you have to make sure that the right amount of ink was there and you'd be covered with this stuff and then you start rolling around and around and around and around and you flipped off pages. That was this Gestetner. That was high tech. <laughs> Wow. Anyway. So she, you were doing this stuff late at night, and then someone says to you, let's do some theater. Yeah, because I would do that at night, go teach school all day, mm -hmm. leave school, and so the only time I'd have to do theater would be between after school and, say, 11 o'clock, because at 11 o'clock I might have to go back down. That's, that's what I was operating on during that time. Anyway, I went with Jenny. And she started me out very, very carefully. I, so strange. Uh, the very first role she ever gave me was a, a role in uh, You Can't Take It With You. Hmm. <laughs> and I corralled Joan to do her only ever acting stint. <laughs> Joan, as I referred to, the wife of Rocky Jones, was known as the uh, uh, Angela Davis for Canada. Okay. That's Joan. Mm -hmm. But I, we needed this extra body in the play, so we <laughs> made she, she was so mad, but she did it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, for me and Jenny, that was the beginning, and then she just started giving me these roles so that, you know, I was playing Pinter and McLeish and... Uh, I did uh, uh, Crap's Last Tape, and uh, wow. uh, that's what she's giving me this stuff. This is a pretty um, adventurous uh, community theater. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 